I'm Dee Dee Gatton. Out of control wildfires in Texas now turning deadly. Dramatic images in Ohio. Entire neighborhoods now piles of splinters and mud after violent storms. We go first tonight to Ryan Smith at the live desk tracking the smokehouse fire. Now the second largest in the state's history. Ryan. DD, a tragic late breaking update tonight. One person killed in these unforgiving flames. The Smokehouse Creek fire now scorching more than 850,000 acres of land. And at this hour tonight, it is only 3% contained. We want to show you more about that reported death out of Hutchison County, Texas. 83 year old Blake or Joyce Blankenship. We're told she died at her home and was a beloved substitute teacher in that area. Grim images of the devastation here in Hutchison County, Texas. Almost the entire region now charred and completely burned down. About 20,000 people live here with search and rescue operations happening as we speak tonight. Nearly two dozen structures have been destroyed. Here's a closer look at the damage here at nearby town of Fritch, Texas, where people have been forced to evacuate. The owner of this home says the top by the time the sirens went off, it was just too late. They had to run for it, leaving everything behind. The wildfires have now crossed into Oklahoma, where more than a dozen homes have burned to the ground. We've also learned tonight a firefighter was injured after two trucks collided because of all of that low visibility. Fire officials in Texas say tonight's cooler weather is critical now moving forward, but winds are expected to pick back up over the weekend as the fight for containment continues around the clock. And from Texas to Ohio, where at least five tornadoes have now been confirmed during last night's violent storms, many families just beginning to pick up the pieces. That includes Joe Vandruska and his wife in Columbus. They were both in their back bedroom when their roof and walls collapsed around them, trapping them for almost an hour. I looked out through the hallway and it was covered in two by fours. I knew I couldn't get out, so I told her, let's go back to bed. Thank God we're alive. So glad they are okay tonight. Incredibly, both Vandruska and his wife were not hurt. In just 10 minutes, Ryan Smith will join us from the live desk to show you just how powerful this storm was as recovery begins.